everybody. We are going to discuss. I can't get my light to work. It's fine. Cripes. All right. That just turned on by itself. What the hell? Well, I guess it wants to be on. But we're going to talk about transmutation of energy attachments. There we go. The fan is on, it's what it wanted. Basically, when you have any kind of negative energy attachment and that being is transmuted, it becomes something else. For example, recently I broke a cycle with an entity and I believe that when I transmuted that energy, spirit placed some of it in the lantern where I placed my sacrifices. This is the ancestral well. This is where all of that spiritual energy culminates. So all that you will see inside of my lantern is ancestral energy. That is all. But when you put a demon in a jar, you can't just put it on the shelf. Spirit may have put that energy into my lantern and you know maybe that's why I intuitively thought I was supposed to take an AI art of the lantern there was really no reason for me to do that it was just a, a download a burst that I should justice so I took the AI art and saw our little friend in there and like I've said before there's no need to be afraid of them whether it's a spirit, whether it's a demon, whether it's an angel, whether it is something else entirely, doesn't matter. You don't need to freak out. It's not that big of a deal. We know how to deal with energy attachments here. So, what do we do with an energy attachment? Once it's captured in a photograph, it's actually very easy to transmute. We fed it back into the AI. We gave it qualities associated with rebirth, transformation, the essence of what we are. We are transmuting that darkness into our light. That's how that works. So we give it the qualities of a phoenix. We give it the blue fire that our ancestors have used on the dragonfly at pivotal moments to give us messages. That fire represents our strength, our power, our ancestral connection. So blue fire, phoenix imagery, along with this this baby demon spirit wanted us to transmute so we fed that into a new image that image was then posted it was made into our portal so that the energy could flow through change no matter what the original intentions of that entity it's no longer the same creature it was it's on our side now. It works with us. It works for us. And it's not all evil. It's got good in it too. The new picture, the angel wings, start black and then they turn white. Symbolic. The chariot. But I don't think I'm going to end the transmutation process there. Spirit wanted me to do something with that energy. It just so happened, Wheel of Fortune, that I was already working on a deck of tarot cards with a very similar theme and style. So I think, the star, I'm going to take that transmuted image of the spirit phoenix, phoenix spirit, whatever you want to call it, our demon in a jar, 
that we turned into a protector, a guardian, if you will, King of Wands. And we're going to connect it with a deck. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn that image of the Spirit Phoenix into the Empress card. Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. It doesn't really matter what anybody thinks about that because my truth, Nine of Cups, is all that really matters to me. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And the opinions of others do not have any influence whatsoever, Queen of Pentacles, on the truth of my actions or my words. And I think you'll find that no matter what it looks like is happening, Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, my actions remain consistent. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. We know what we're doing. And it's not dark. It's quite the opposite, in fact. We make broken things beautiful, including those little creatures that people don't understand. That can be so much more, Four of Cups, if given the chance to change. Four of Pentacles. There is always light within the darkness strength. And there is always darkness within the light. The transformation of energy between those two opposites happens all the time. And while you may not see anything in spirituality about the transmutation of demons, the fool, I've put it in practice. High Priestess more than once. And it's not a demon anymore. It's not putting me in a karmic cycle anymore. Three of Swords. Judgment. It. Has its karma. Its purpose. Its reason. And it is not what it once was. Eight of Pentacles. Once I get the image onto the cards, we will remove the portal. And the connection will be direct from spirit to the deck. Spirit, Source, has guided me to do this. I think that the purpose behind this lesson was to teach somebody out there that you can transmute demons. It is not only possible, but beneficial. Nothing is wasted. The Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. And you know what? We're all false relationships for somebody else. I don't believe that is the case in my situation. The Hanged Man and the Six of Cups. But Spirit has changed my mind a hundred times. Five of Pentacles. And I might be alone right now, Emperor. But I do not believe that... We were just toxic karmics for each other. Five of Wands, the sun. I will never give up hope and faith that we are all divine. And karmics are not evil. Neither are we. No matter where you fall, wheel of fortune. And on the left or the right, we all have a ripple purpose, 